As far as AI image generators go, Midjourney seems to be the most well known and was all the rage just as ChatGPT was and is for large language models. But there are alternatives to Midjourney. Now even ChatGPT Plus is an AI image generation option. Let's take a quick look at generating images with OpenAI's ChatGPT and compare it to another image generator, Leonardo.ai. OpenAI's ChatGPT just came out with a few new features including the ability for users to upload files, including images, and have the chatbot read or view the contents of the file and analyze it or answer questions about it. Another feature of ChatGPT is that it can generate images with the DALL-E image generator. This has some pros and cons. One major benefit is that your images are private, unlike with Midjourney or Leonardo, or at least the free plans. But this may actually be a plus for Leonardo if you want to see what the community is making. You can click on any image in the community feed and see what the prompt is and even use it for image to image to remix the image. You can sort the community page by new, trending, or top and you can search for images as well. Another benefit with the ChatGPT image generation is that you can have conversations about the image. You can tell the chatbot to change certain parts of the image. You can ask it what kind of image you should generate and it will generate it. Then you can tell it to change certain aspects of it. Some drawbacks are that it's only one image at a time versus up to four to eight on Leonardo. It also cannot do image to image, which is a handy feature in Stable Diffusion and Leonardo. It lets you upload an image and it will use that as a starting point in the image generation, letting you change as much or as little of the image as you want. Drawbacks to Leonardo is that there is a daily limit. You can get more images with the paid plans. Even for the free plan, you can make several dozen images. The limit for the ChatGPT images is the usual 40 messages per three hours. A pro to Leonardo is that it's a lot faster, seeing that it's generating four images and it's very impressive. It seems like it takes even longer on ChatGPT with more complex images, even freezing my browser a couple times. And if you leave the tab, it will pause the work, so you have to have the tab open and just wait for it. I had to reload my page a few times to get it to work. The usual limitations for AI imagery apply. Have any image generator make a maze, and it will look like a real maze at first glance, but you can't really reach the center. Something will be a little bit off about it. Have it make a word puzzle and you'll just get a jumbled mess. It is kind of funny how ChatGPT describes it though, as if it provided something useful for you. But you can't win them all. About image quality, Leonardo produces a very high-res image that looks ex exactly like real sushi. Most of the outputs are pretty accurate to the prompt. ChatGPT slash Dali produces pretty good images most of the time, but it does misunderstand the prompt enough that you basically have to trim it down just like you would for Midjourney or Leonardo. For example, if you tell it to give you a design to put on a t-shirt, it will actually read the word t-shirt and give you a design with a t-shirt. So you have to be precise and just leave out words like that that you don't want to add to the image. Overall, both image generators give Midjourney a run for its money. Speaking of money, for now the image generation for ChatGPT is only for the Plus account, which is currently $20 per month. The Leonardo Basic Plan, which is free, allows for several dozen images or so a day, so you can't really beat that. The verdict is, if you're going to do serious image generation, you may as well pay for Midjourney or use Leonardo, or pay for the Leonardo Pro plans, if you want more images and more features. The image generation in ChatGPT can be handy if you already have the Plus plan, so it's basically just one more feature. That's it for today. Subscribe for more AI and tech news and tips, and see you in the next video.